Ben Backwell is the CEO of the Global Wind Energy Council. The GWEC represents the largest private sector companies in the wind energy space. Ben Backwell, thank you for joining us. Um, as we all inch ever closer to COP28 now, later this year in Dubai, what role will the GWEC play? Well, we represent the private sector um, of one of the largest and most relevant uh, renewable energy technologies um, and we work closely with our colleagues and friends in the solar industry and green hydrogen and, and really what we do is we try and help governments um, on how do we implement the energy transition, how do we get to climate targets using the technology available. Um, so our role really is to mobilise um, private sector capital investment in order to help uh, governments meet their energy climate targets. Now you're saying it's the largest sector. Uh, what is that based on? Why wind rather than solar, for example? Well, no, I mean, actually it's wind and solar. If you look at something like the IEA uh, net zero scenario, uh, but they have wind and solar playing the predominant role in the electricity system by 2050, right? And in fact, it's, it's, it's actually when you get to output, it's pretty similar amount. So wind is slightly more than solar. Solar has to install a lot more. So solar is actually a, um, a, a bigger industry in terms of um, megawatts or gigawatts installed um, because the capacity factors are, are lower with solar. So you need to install more solar to get the same effect. But we, yeah, we work with all the technologies really because it's going to need all the technologies. So we work very close with our friends in the solar industry, green hydrogen, um, hydro, hydro power, I mean, it's going to require a whole suite of, of technologies to get it forward. Into. What trends are you seeing in the wind industry and how, how do you think they'll support energy transition? Well, I mean, the important thing here is what's available right now and can it scale? Um, and again, if you look at available technologies, it's really wind and solar that can step in the gap. Um, for electricity, to create green electricity. And then you need to look at the other sectors like transport and aviation industry, um, where there's an increasing um, emphasis on, on green hydrogen and how do you scale that up. So um, really for the energy transition part, um, those are the kind of key technologies. And then you have all the kind of enabling things that you, you need around it as well. So what are the council's priorities then in the run up to COP28? Well, we really want to make sure that this COP is a implementation COP, um, and it's it's a it, it, it's based around practical out, uh, outcomes, and it's based around really how do we face the challenges that um, the, that we have ahead of us on the energy uh, transition. This COP is the global stock take, so it's really um, where the presidency and the countries and the parties will will look at where we are in terms of meeting our climate goals and the, and the findings of the previous COPs and IPCC, um, and then you know, come together around some kind of action plan collectively. So it's really, really important that this COP is not a talking shop, that it's you know, practical um, and it's about implementation. And the discussions we've had with the um, UAE presidency have been really positive and we think that um, we can see that they're really laser focused on, on, on producing these outcomes. So you know, we're quite encouraged. Um, from what we've seen so far, uh, yeah, we feel that there's a sense of urgency both with the hosts but also with the, the countries that are part of this. Um, so yeah, it's getting down to business and it's getting down to actions, uh, not words. Great. Thank you very much, Ben Backwell.